all right what's up y'all it's 202 wink back with another tech video i haven't done a video on like interview questions and and yeah for real so first things first my first i consider this job now like my first real actual tech interview because the rest of them was just bs looking back like bs they'll like i told y'all about those little temp companies or whatever out virginia so let's get straight to it nine times out of ten it's going to be a panel interview when i had my first interview here it was one interview three people on the panel i was nervous and i never even done nothing uh, done nothing like that before and they didn't tell you so when i walked into the door <clears throat> which was right around the corner when i walked into that door and i saw three people i was like oh okay but it was simple and uh, easy for the most part. Of course, you're going to be nervous, so things going to seem like it's taking longer than usual and going fast at the same time. Uh, they give you, like, the, the, the main little regular interview questions, like, about yourself and everything, but it does get technical. I got some, you know, I got my little notes for y'all. So, um, they're going to ask the general questions first, which is going to be, like, what got you into IT or why you got into IT. For me, I already told them. Y'all remember those fat white computers from back in the day? For some reason, we had like three or four of them in our basement. And yeah, it, you can do what you want with that. So yeah, we always had computers, you just never know internet for real. <laughs> but um, so that's what something like that, that I would say. You know, not to that extent, but that's the type of question. So this is to prepare you. So you, the better you know how to answer these questions, the easier it is when they ask you, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's the truth. Now, if you're one of those people that then lied on your resume, the whole resume, you have to remember all that, but that's another story for another time. Next question, how important is customer service to you? Or, yeah, yeah, how important is customer service to you? Or something like that, right? And you gotta tell them like that it's important because you're gonna be dealing with people. No one wants to deal with people that has attitudes. Even if you're talking to a customer or user or whatever that has an attitude, you gotta like fake it, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> don't let them get to you. But yeah, these are just the questions that you guys can like think of answers to. So you can already be just like prepared for it. Another one. Do you keep up with any technology blogs or podcasts? For me, yes. Named one, Cyber IT. I think I learned about that in school. And uh just just Google some like local, you know, not local, but you know, some good podcast or live stream or whoever. You know what I'm saying? Like that dude, uh, I forget what his name. It ain't technology. It's more about business and financial. But, yeah, it's people and content creators that make content based on new technologies, the new phones, the new systems, new malware, new security, whatever. So, yeah, <clears throat> they'll also ask you, uh, as far as, like, the actual job goes, like, they, they asked me, like, what different terms meant, like, uh, IP or TCIP, what is that, and, um, some of them, you know, you ain't gonna remember that off the top, for real, for real. Like, I, I can know. I'm either gonna remember. Blah, blah, blah. I'm either going to remember what the what the letters stand for or what it actually does. So one or the other. But yeah. So like, what is? For example, I remember they asked me what is pinging or something like that, and I told them. So you gotta know like a little simple stuff, like to ping a computer. You know what I'm saying? That's simple. So yeah. Uh, you know, and like, what does IP stand for? An IP address, stuff like that. Um. So, yeah, y'all, you don't have to go in there, you know what I'm saying, knowing way too much about stuff that you don't, that's not important, you know? So, some people like to be know-it-alls. I mean, not saying, maybe that's a bad word to use, but you don't want to go somewhere spewing out, let's say you go for an interview on a help desk, right? But you, everything that you're talking about is dealing with cybersecurity. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Let's get on with the uh, other types of questions. Oh yeah, another type of question that they had asked me is, uh, could I give them a time or whatever? It's on here too. Uh, actually, it's not on this one, but basically they asked for like a scenario or a time where I was dealing with an upset customer, which kind of really happened, but you just like, even if you never really had it, you could just like make up a scenario that you would be able to solve quickly. Like someone was mad that this didn't happen. So you went ahead and did this and that, and even though, you know, whatever, whatever. So. Yeah, it's just all about having good responses, common, uh, common sense responses, good responses, and actual, you know, to show that you got some type of technical skill. That's what I'm saying. Brush up on, like, little stuff. Brush up on little stuff. So, you know, yeah. 
another one they had asked too uh about scenario questions and it's one on here too if a customer is calling and saying their computer feels to boot up how would you address the problem first things first is it plugged up because i deal with that now people's I just dealt with that earlier for real. Somebody had a monitor, wouldn't turn on. I came up there, guess what? It wasn't plugged in. But it's all good, you know? It's all good. But those are just some like some slight questions. Like I said, I had a panel interview. I never had like a little real single interview. When I was in school, we did mock interviews. So yeah, you really just gotta like know yourself and know what you did. If you know what you did, then you can like do the interview. Just tell them about yourself. And I'm not saying, like, don't tell them about stuff. Oh, I'm 20, whatever years old. I like crabs and this and that. No. You tell them your experience. You went to school for this long. You did an internship here. You worked with this. You did videos on that. You did research on this. You did projects doing that. You built your own this. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, y'all. Just as long as you, like, brush up on stuff. Like, even this video here, how I gave you some slight questions. That's all it's really going to be. You just got to be a good talker and be able to, like, sell yourself for real. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you have to, tweak your resume to what that job description wants and brush up on it. People will give you a chance, you know? And that's all I really had to say. I had to get y'all with a tech video, though. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share. If you have any tech video suggestions, put them down, down below. Uh, I do it. I'm going to try to do these, like, at least. I'm going to try to do once a week. I can start off with trying to do once a week, so with the tech videos or some type of tech relatedness so yeah <clears throat> go ahead and do y'all do like comment subscribe share uh best of luck to anybody on the it journey it's a great field people be in my comments uh asking like like somebody was in my comments one time was like uh how much i'm not trying to be in your business or whatever but how much did you get paid and i'm like you can google that you know what i'm saying you i said go ahead and google they google it they was like oh i wanted to get a real perspective it's pretty much the truth google it you know what i'm saying because like, i don't mind telling people but just like all the time i mean not even all the time i don't mind telling people but it's just like some shit is just like come on now you could probably like the most i tell people is when i first started off i was making like 23 dollars an hour and that was three years ago and that's like the starting point even in dc i think dc was might it might have been even like 25 or something well it might be 25 now because it's been three years so back when i even graduated school it was like it was starting off at like 21 an hour so like i said this is a great field it's not hard to get into even if you don't know nothing about computers go take up a quick class start with the microsoft excel then do computer basics and all that if you're in dc a lot of these classes are free as well that's what one thing i love about dc they always looking out for their people so at least yeah there are free tech classes in dc that you can find um I might put a link in the description or I'll make another video talking about it because it's really a great field. I love it. People, like, even to the point where, like, I'm level two now, but it's like, um, I've had someone say before, like, uh, you don't want to move up or, or go into a different position. Actually, no. I went to school for this and I'm going to get advanced at this and be this at this. You know what I'm saying? So that's fine. You don't always have to like, if you want to like, yeah, I would like to get into uh, cyber security. Cool. But I'd rather do this. I'm there. I like to deal with people and meet people and help them out. Especially with the older people. You know, they're just so nice and sweet. So I'd rather advance at this and be good. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to like do all extra, extra too much and be, yeah, I'm willing to learn and stuff like that. But it's like, for, not for what, but it's like already got a lot going on. I'd rather just advance and help, advance and help desk and have everything down pat and know it front and back, and also still be doing my stuff on the side. You see, I got my YouTube channel, my production company. Okay, the meeting has got pushed back to nine thirty, so I'm gone. Like, comment, subscribe, share. It help desk out.